Service Digiculture, Digital and Sustainable Service Innovation for the Cultural and Creative Sectors. Do you work or aim to work in a cultural and creative sector and want to rethink your services, adapt to and prepare yourself for the challenges of society? So, what is service innovation and what is service design? Firstly, what is service innovation? As people's needs and desires change and evolve over time, rethinking existing services and innovating new ones makes service innovation vital for the livelihood, potential and sustainability of an organization. Service innovation can be applied to a completely new or improved and updated service, be part of a service or a service process, such as customer process, value chains or service infrastructure. It can also be a service created for a product or complementary to it, and it can combine existing elements into a new service. Today, digitalization is part of many services. The benefits of service innovation may include, for instance, improved productivity, reduced costs, increased competitiveness and livelihood, improved brand recognition and value, readiness to react to changes, trends and habits. Service innovation can be applied at all stages of activity, in the life cycle of a service or a product. At the beginning, during the introduction phase, when developing activities, services and products and introducing them to customers. During the growth phase, as part of service and product offer development, while adapting to competition and customer needs. During the maturity phase, when finding new extensions to existing services and products to extend their life. During the decline phase, to smooth transition and continue with a new service. Different elements influence service innovation, for example. The nature of customers, customer feedback, organization and service provider skills and competencies, possibility for collaboration internally with outside organizations, customers or others. Networks and contacts, the location, for instance, what is possible in a specific location, town, country, or an island, the culture, and legal issues. When starting to innovate services, one should think about why to innovate, when to innovate, what to innovate, who to innovate, how to innovate, and which are the tools to use to innovate. Now, what is service design? Service design is applying design methods for service development to create user oriented feasible, viable and desirable services. It focuses on the experience and functionality of a service. Services are usually experienced and tested while consumed in real life service situations during the interaction between the customer and the organization. However, it is possible to innovate and develop services during service design as it allows testing and experiencing services during the development phase. Service design helps to save resources as it investigates the root problem to tackle, listens to users, and tests services with the users and service providers during the development phase to find the most suitable solution and to eliminate any faults before a service is finalized and delivered to markets. Visualizing the development process and who's involved, it can help in finding opportunities, partnerships, and developing service ecosystem networks. Service design is a sequential process similar to a product development process with consecutive development phases, each with a set of tools to use. Yet, more is needed to make it work. Service design is where thinking and working with user designer sensibilities, methods, and user orientation by involving customers and service providers and stakeholders in the process to solve open-ended and ill-defined wicked problems through a holistic manner in multidisciplinary teams. It focuses on user orientation, customer value, viability, and feasibility of outcomes. Service design methods include testing, visualization, ideation, and investigating the root problem, while creativity and user orientation are part of the mindset process and working methods. As these elements are fundamental for innovation, service design is a really useful method for innovating services. Service design considers exactly what the service process is for the customers and organization, 
what happens when the customer and organization meet, which artifacts and support processes invisible to the customer, such as online portals, are needed for delivering the service, and who else is involved in delivering the service. A service process can be divided into a customer's journey and company's processes, which together forms a service blueprint. These processes are connected through the same steps that may include different actions and activity levels for customers and the organization. For example, a customer might be active during an online purchase, while the company is passive delivering only an online platform and support systems. Whereas instead, in a restaurant during a food order processes, both are active. Service moments and touch points are moments when the customer interacts and meets with the organization. These moments could also comprise of visiting a shop, using an online platform, or ordering food in a restaurant. The journey of the customer and the organization delivering the service, with all meeting points, physical proofs, artifacts, premises, and surroundings, and a service scape can be visualized. It helps to create a holistic picture of a service and identify what works and what is needed to deliver it. Stakeholders linked to and influence the service delivery can be identified with a stakeholder map and add to the process and its value chains and network. In addition, the emotional journey of the customer, the customer's feelings and reactions to the service can also be visualized in the customer's journey. It should be remembered that each service delivery event or moment consumption experience situation is different. Service design is user-orientated, human-centered, and co-creative. Service design uses empathy. It wants to understand users and involve them and stakeholders in the development process. It is multidisciplinary, collaborative, and holistic. It involves collaboration with other sectors and organizations and is normal as these bring different perspectives into the process. It's a solution oriented. The aim is to find the real underlying root problem and focus on the solution instead of the problem. It is sequential and iterative. The service design process forms consecutive phases, each with its own purpose, tools, and outcomes leading to the next phase. The process can be returned to previous phases when more information or solutions are needed. It is experimental. Ideas, concepts, and prototypes are tested during the development phase to find the most suitable solution, how they are used, and to save resources. It is visual, analytic, and evidence-based using evidence generated. Service design methods are often visual. This helps in analyzing information, getting a holistic picture, and making the process comprehensive. Service Digiculture Training uses a create service design process model for service innovation. It helps in designing and innovating services through finding the problem to solve, gaining further insight, ideating and testing solutions, and finalizing the service.